Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited that you decided to join me today on this lovely Sunday. I know this video today is up a little late, but I know, um, I know, I, it's because it's Mother's Day and I went to go and have lunch with my mom. So that was really nice. Um, actually, it was kind of more like a family. Like it was my dad, my mom, my younger sister, me and my boyfriend, we all went to um one of the local mexican places and not really local i guess one of their local not local for me we drove like an hour to go see them and to pick up my sister because she usually spends the weekends down there and yeah um but today we're building another tiny house this one is similar but a different vibe than the one i posted last week so i'm just gonna add a little card up above for the one i posted last week where it was kind of uh, a tucked away tiny house and that one was kind of more inspired um greenhouse kind of gardening like maybe an older couple lives there and they have like a dog and now this is a micro home I believe yeah it's only 31 tiles which is really nice um there's a lot more benefits in a house like this but I don't know if I've ever built oh I have built a micro home another micro home that I built um, was a micro starter home and that was a cottage and I'll add that up above. I'm just gonna make a note so that I remember when to place those cards so that they show up. But yeah, um, it, but the vibe is similar cause like I'm thinking I'm going to name this one tucked away tiny and the other one was, um, I don't even know what was the other one called? Was it called, uh, uh um, hideaway tiny, I think. So it's going to be very similar. Um, there wasn't a huge response on my video last week, which is like fine. Like I'm not really, like I'm doing this, like obviously to like share my builds, but I'm also doing it to become like a better builder. And like also just to, I don't know, it like helps me finish builds. I like love, like I have a whole bunch of ideas for like builds, you know, but then I'm like really hard at like putting it together. But I feel like this is definitely helping me to do that. And I don't know, I have to really, I'm trying to take the stress out of it by like allowing myself like today to like post a little late. Like no one cares if I post at six. I mean, not at six, it's probably gonna go up around seven because I'm recording the voiceover at six. But um, no one's gonna care if I post a few hours late, right? Like as long as I can just hold myself to trying to put out a video a week, I'm pretty sure um, that's what'll make everyone happy. But today we are building on the 20 by 20 lot. It's the island lot in Windenburg. And I have personally like never ever built in Windenburg. Just because I find the, um, I don't really even, I'm blanking on what the building style is usually called here. Oh my goodness. But they, I hope that you know what I'm talking about. But I'm like completely blanking on the build style. But I kind of leaned into more of like a modern cottage. So I like used um, some of the windows and doors from, uh, what is it called? T not Tiny Living, the the DIY, oh my God. Eco Living, Eco, eco Lifestyle, Eco Living? Eco Lifestyle, I believe it is. And then I also used um, the more modern windows from Growing Together. And I also placed another bird bath. I've been very bad. I mean, not very bad, but the last two um, builds I have placed a bird bath. I've also done a pool. I haven't done a pool in a while. Um, I'm trying to think. Maybe the last time I would have done a pool would have been maybe the Spanish colonial house. And I'll, I'll link that too. I mean, I don't usually um, add cars. Uh, add cards. I add cards in like all of my builds. That's a lie. I don't usually add pools and I haven't built like um, a Spanish colonial house before so that one was kind of um, out of my realm. I'm trying to think about what I want to write while I'm writing it. Like I'm making little notes on this um, sticky note about what I need to link and stuff but pretty much the whole backyard's coming together. I imagined I was building this um, tiny home Kind or micro home, I guess, for just kind of like a single sim, maybe a couple. I think it'd be kind of annoying, um, gameplay wise, because with the Murphy bed, you're gonna have to put up the bed anytime. Like, if you're on the side closest on the side of the bed closest to the windows, anytime you have to go to the bathroom, you're either gonna have to like scooch across the bed or um, put the bed up and then go to the bathroom, 
which is a little bit annoying. I also put a woohoo bush outside, so maybe it's a little bit of like a, an elevated bachelor's pad. Because I was like, hmm, I didn't quite know what else to put over in that grass patch. I was like, I don't know, it's not really a kid's place, and I don't, I don't really see them being like totally, totally into outside things. I kind of see them like enjoying to lay out in the sun and kind of stuff like that. I also gave them a pretty decent sized kitchen, so I wouldn't be surprised if they, um, because like the kitchen is like a third of this and then the living and uh bedroom spaces are like combined and then there's like a bathroom and entryway I did waste a few tiles in the entryway um but I kind of liked how this floor plan like kind of came together it definitely I don't know I don't, I don't it's so hard for me because like in micro homes I still want there to be like designated areas but it's it's hard to do that in a tiny home because there's less tiles to designate to places um which is kind of the whole fun of tiny homes right just trying to squish everything in I know that um Miss Griffey usually um she has a little series not really a series it's just kind of like a thing she calls or they um call when they build um a tiny home and it's just the squish and I think that's like a perfect representation for what you're doing when you're building a tiny home you're like squishing everything together um but yeah I added a dresser over by the front door because there was not going to be room for one over here in front of the windows I mean there probably would be but I didn't like any of the ones um I ended up putting a chair and um a couple of like the side tables that came with tiny living I used a lot of tiny living um in this build which is um I mean to be known because this is a tiny home so the tiny living stuff um works really well <laughs> in the tiny home but yeah I do add a clock here and then la later I get rid of it because I'm like this clock is not the vibe um I like clocks a lot in my real life but I never use them in builds just because I don't know I guess I don't really want a sense of too much time in the sims if that makes sense I then put this I swap it for that painting um it's a base game painting. I never use it, but I thought it worked really nice. Um, with this area, and we're just kind of finishing up the entryway. I didn't like over clutter this place, but because I didn't want it to like not work. But for some reason, like when I I like m kind of play tested this build, I just brought some Sims here to like take some screenshots, and I put the bed down, and like that worked. And that was like the main thing that I was worried about not working. And so like I know that this three by one bathroom works. Like everyone on. <laughs> Sims YouTube does a three by one, one bathroom like this. And it hits everything you need besides a tub. And you really only need a tub if you have a dog. So just, I'm sorry if you have a dog, get a cat. They're a lot easier. <laughs> um, I say that because I have two cats. But um, this video is actually starting to get to the end. And so I just want to say that this build is available on the Sims 4 gallery under my origin ID or EA ID, I guess, which is um, Allison Logue or under the hashtag Outhouse Games. Um, if you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does mean a lot to me. Um, and I'll see you guys all next week with another video. All right, bye.